Joe DiPietro setting the date for the end of his time as leader of the University of Tennessee. We knew his retirement was coming. Mm -hmm. It's been reported now for months, but today we learned his retirement will become official February 14th. He's stepping down from active service, though, November 21st, using up some vacation time. DiPietro has led UT since 2011. We brought you this video as he moved into his office. Before that, he headed the UT Institute of Agriculture. His time as president has seen leadership changes at the Knoxville campus, Chancellor Jimmy Cheek stepping down, replaced by Beverly Davenport, who was fired in May. Wayne Davis now serves as interim chancellor. Now in that time, we've also followed controversy between UT and the state legislature over sex week and the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. UT's Board of Trustees has also been trimmed down and there was the debate over the outsourcing proposal. We've also seen overhauls to buildings on the Knoxville campus with a number of projects actually still underway. Well, today the president addressing the media and his announcement at a news conference. WATE 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel was there. Elizabeth, what is next for Joe DiPietro? Well, Lori DiPietro telling us he plans to take six months off, looking forward to spending that time with his family, children, and grandchildren. But he does not plan to stay away from UT, saying he's interested in teaching part-time for the Executive Leadership Institute. And during his time at the university, as you both mentioned, Kristen and Lori, DiPietro addressed staffing challenges and made some big staffing changes. Today, I asked him if things are better where they stand right now. He said the university is no doubt in a really good spot. And as for the person who will take his place, DiPietro encouraging the board to find someone who can keep pushing UT forward. Be willing to challenge people. Um, be willing to uh, consider new ideas and new approaches. Understand the culture of the state of Tennessee. The unique place it is. The unique culture of it. Now, I also asked the president today to talk about the biggest challenges and successes he's faced on the job. He said he'd rather focus on those successes, one of those tackling financial problems at the university. Back to you, ladies. All right, Elizabeth, thank mm -hmm. you so thank much. You. Uh, again, DPHO retiring February 14th, 2019, but he will be stepping down from active service November 21st. And the UT Board of Trustees chair says the new board will meet soon to discuss the next steps in selecting a new leader for the University of Tennessee system.